gee, it's tough to get an agent. It's really tough to get an agent. So therefore, a lot of people are without an agent, do not have an agent. And yes, there is real value in having an agent. But in my book, in a digital age, it's better to have no agent than a bad agent. Because let's face it, if I look at a page of thumbnails, a page of actor thumbnails, so I said, I've sent out a breakdown on one of the, um, the online casting sites. I send out a breakdown and all these photographs come back and they're all presented to me as a page of thumbnails, a bit like wallpaper, really. Because if you're, they're presenting 500 actors, yeah, and I, and I get the choice. Do I want to see 20 on each page, 50 on each page, or 100? 100 actors all right for the role on the one page. Now, obviously, if I'm seeing 500 actors on my page, I'm, I don't know them all. <laughs> that stands to reason. So, if you're sitting there on my page and it's an actor's headshot, so therefore you're all looking very much the same, all looking right for the role, what is the, di the, the difference between you and someone else? Your agent. Your agent, who represents you. So, if you're with an agent that I don't have a lot of respect for, or I think only has, say, extras, walk-ons, bit parters, little, little roles. If that's the agent you're with, then I naturally, automatically assume that is the kind of actor you are. And that is why I say it is better to have no agent than a bad agent. So, how do you work with, with no agent? The, the thing about a casting director is if I ca structure a casting session, I'm looking for somebody who is really special, really different. And if I have a casting session with a director and I get an actor in but he doesn't have an agent, the, actor does, the, the, the director doesn't say, oh, he can't be very good because he doesn't have an agent. The director thinks, oh, intriguing. So here is, a, is an actor that the casting director has brought into the room even though they don't have an agent. What is special about this person? You actually have, you are actually now intriguing. You are an intriguing actor because you don't have an agent. It puts, you, it puts the pressure on you to be able to communicate, to be able to connect in a digital age, but that's what we explore here at the Audition Technique, because that's the, that's the empowerment you have as an actor. But that's the territory I want you to understand, that it is, in the scale of things, it is not bad to, ha to have no agent, it is bad to have a bad agent. We'll talk to you soon.